couple lose newborn baby in hospital, four days later, they get a call from a nurse that changes everything, it's a dream of many young couples to start their own family. That's why Katie and Josh Butler were over the moon when they were told they were going to have a child. However, their hopes and desires would turn to ash before they were barely started on the journey of parenthood. When Katie went in for an ultrasound at 20 weeks, it was discovered that there was something wrong. Doctors couldn't pinpoint exactly what the problem was, but they knew all wasn't right. And so began their roller coaster ride, one that would take many twists and turns before its end. After Katie and Josh Butler's baby Dewey, was born, he was rushed to the NICU in a bid to save his life. Sadly, it wasn't enough, Dewey passed away after 132 days of fighting. His heart couldn't take the strain brought about by an attempt to surgically fit him with a feeding tube. Naturally, Katie and Josh were devastated. They had been confident that Dewey could succeed in his battle against adversity, and so it was a hammer blow when his death left them in grief. I felt so guilty for thinking of this but there was also a sense of relief. He was finally healed and I know I'll see him again. Katie told Cater's news agency, the parents turned to God to help them through their trials. It was when Katie and Josh were in the process of celebrating the life of their precious Dewey that a miracle occurred. One of the nurses in NICU called to let the couple know there was a baby on the fifth floor of the hospital who needed a mom and dad. The boy named Brax, had multiple health conditions that meant his family weren't able to care for him. Katie and Josh didn't know what to expect, but four days later they met a sweet little boy. Brax had been prematurely born at 27 weeks. At 11 months old he had never left hospital, and had chronic respiratory failure, pulmonary hypertension and was Drake vent dependent. Katie and Josh were told however, there was a chance he might improve with age. There was no question as to what the couple would do next. They took Brax home and fostered him. Then when they were eligible, a few months later, they officially adopted the boy. Once we brought him home, his health started to improve. He still needs oxygen but his movement and feeding has improved so much. He knows us and he smiles at us and can identify us. Our family has really taken to him. We have all this love because of Dewey and want to pour this love into Brax. We wish Katie and Josh a lifetime of happiness with little Brax. What happened with Dewey is terribly sad. But there's light at the end of the dark tunnel for the family in the form of another vulnerable baby who needs their help. Share this story if you believe God had a hand in giving Katie and Josh a second chance at raising a child when they needed it most. Please subscribe our channel for more hard-touching stories.